Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, from Rich TV Live with our very special guest, David Vinokarov, the CEO of Fandify Technology Corp. How are you doing today, David? Doing good, Rich. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Very excited to have you back on the show again. And I'm a big fan of Fandify Technology Corp. And my question is, the company has been working on its prediction platform and fan engagement. Can you give us an update on the platform and how the beta launch is coming along? Yes, it's been uh, a long time coming. So what we've done just uh, since the start of the summer, uh, we started our pre-beta signups. So what we started doing was engaging across all of our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Discord, etc. build up those communities, create some demand ahead of the beta launch. So we're running a uh, campaign right now, a contest uh, to get people signed up. We've had already hundreds and hundreds of uh, people sign up for the beta. Uh, the beta will be going live on November 7th. I encourage all of the viewers to go to fandify.com, sign up for that beta, be part of you know the first uh, go-to-market steps for the company. Uh, we're really excited. Uh, we are activating uh, partners that we've ha signed up in the past that have had, you know, a, a first look at, at the platform, if you will. Uh, so we're reaching out to their databases of users. Uh, we're going to have steady news flow. We've got a number of other partnerships that we're going to be announcing over the co coming weeks as well. And uh, we're, we're excited to be going live, frankly. Well, congratulations. Super excited yeah. to see how that gets done and how it gets rolled out. Now, a lot of companies this last year have had a difficult year with the market conditions. Can you tell us what has Fandify been doing to help build shareholder confidence and increase the company's value? Well, certainly, yeah. You know, the, the, the winds of the market have been blowing in everyone's face other than if you're an oil and gas company. Um, you know, us being a technology company that's launching a new platform, a unique platform, you know, I've been stressing to the team that we have to make sure it's smooth and as efficient as possible to launch. Uh, you know, we'll talk about some of our user acquisition metrics uh, after the launch, but uh, we've been using our proceeds as efficiently as possible. Uh, you know, we're still well financed from our earlier financing a couple of years ago. Uh, we're very fortunate that the technology that underpins our platform, that's something that we that was built before. So we've really been tailor making the use case for esports, for sports, for fan engagement with the built and proven technology. And you know the recent additions to our team uh, that have experience building out uh, communities in this free-to-play game sector. You know th this isn't their first time they've done that. Uh, you know we're fortunate to have to have some very experienced people that have built out platforms similar to ours in a way uh, into a couple hundred million euros of revenue. You know our advisory board uh, they've been a fantastic resource for us in terms of giving us feedback. Uh, you know that could you know, bode well for us with uh, the user bases that they have access to. Um, you know, when you're rolling out a technology product, uh, it's all about the user experience. So we've been laser focused on making it fun, engaging, uh, and, and just adding value to our partners, right? We're, we're not trying to build a groundswell for a new use case. We're trying to enable existing communities of users uh, to enjoy our platform, to increase the engagement of those partner platforms that should lead to, you know, significantly lower customer acquisition costs. So you got to be smart, spend your money well, and, you know, rely on the experts that you have access to. So that's what we've been doing. Love what you guys are doing. Now, Fandify also operates an NFT platform. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what kind of NFTs will be available through its marketplace? Yeah, so what we're going to be doing with the NFT rewards module is that we're going to be rewarding fans uh, based on the content silo that they come in from so whether it's esports sports or individual content creators we want to empower those content creators to reward their fans so whether that's someone that makes the most predictions uh, that is the the you know loudest cheering fan or the most engaged fan on their platform we'll be able to track those use case metrics report those back to our partners and then work with them their brand sponsors to create calls to action so whether it's a unique collectible from an event, uh, from a team, from an individual player, or whether it's a use case NFT that is redeemable for something such, you know, 10% uh, off for some merchandise or a unique fan experience, 
All of that will be enabled through the ecosystem that we've built out in terms of the data tracking capabilities. And at the end of the day, it's always nice to you know be reward, rewarded for your engagement, you know, as opposed to just sitting at home and watching TV. So uh, we want to create unique ways for people to share in the rewards by sharing their fan engagement with their favorite content creators. Fan engagement is huge. And I know I'm a huge fan of NFTs and sports, and I'm all about it. So really excited to see what you guys are going to be able to do moving forward. Now, David, what would you say are your top three upcoming milestones for Fandify? Number one, uh, the platform is going to be live. You know, Go live, go live, go live. That's going to be happening in around November 7th. Uh, we're going to be announcing uh, new partner activations uh, between now and then and beyond then. And then we're going to be expanding into sports as well for, for the real-time predictions. So these are major initiatives and evolutions of the platform itself. Uh, so, you know, we're not hoping to have three separate initiatives, but one initiative built on top of another one, on top of another one. As I said, you know, in just the first several days of the, of the launch of the beta, we've had hundreds of people sign up. Next step is thousands and the goal is millions. So uh, we've got a very busy fall ahead of us and uh, we're really looking forward to it. That sounds like huge, huge, huge growth and exciting goals to achieve for sure. In your opinion, is Fandify well-funded for the time being, or will you be looking to raise some funds in the near future? Yeah, as you said earlier, Rich, you know, it's been a tough market. Uh, you know, we did our last financing just about a couple of years ago, and, you know, we're still well-funded. Our last financial statements came out at the end of September. Uh, you know, we still showed $1.8 million in revenue. Our burn rate is around, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars a month, all figures Canadian, um, which is very important. And, you know, we have some money that's going to be coming in from warrants. So we have a number of warrants outstanding that, you know, could be in the millions of dollars. Uh, once the platform goes live, we're ready to generate revenues from day one. So, you know, we're looking to offset uh, our capital needs with some revenues as it starts to trickle in. You know, we have to, you know, as you say, walk before we run and run before we fly. So, uh, you know, we've built a platform that's engaging, that has opportunities. Uh, not only for revenue generation, but for affiliate revenues uh, under revenue programs. So, and that's another reason that I think it makes us a compelling use case for our partners is that not only can they increase their fan engagement, but it's a new revenue stream for them as well. So, you know, we want to be one of those, you know, picks and shovels, if you will, uh, of the fan engagement industry that allows people to engage with their fans better, create new revenue streams. And as I said, the platform is built more or less. So we're really not anticipating any increased uh, development costs as they are. But again, you know, with a platform that's going to evolve over time, uh, you know, if some strategic partners want to come in and help us develop the platform and scale the platform, that's certainly something we'll consider. But uh, short answer is we're good for cash. Very good. And is there anything else you would want investors to know about Fandify Technology Corp today? What would I would like investors to know? I think that, you know, given where we are in the market uh, valuation of the company, I think there's tremendous upside for investors uh, I, over the next weeks and months. Uh, you can hold us accountable for, you know, the plans that I'm talking about today. You'll see progress, you'll see users, people will be able to log into the platform, see the community that we're building, see the partners that we're working with. And then when you consider that the gaming industry, video gaming industry is a couple hundred billion dollar year industry, uh, plus sports, which is in the tens of billions of dollars, plus the overall creator economy. You know, I think the platform that we were building out has the opportunity to touch hundreds of millions of people uh, that can affect tens of billions of dollars of revenue. Um, and again, you know, over the coming quarter, two quarters, three quarters, uh, investors will see our progress towards that. And hopefully that gives them the confidence to invest in the company. And you know, we're all shareholders and we all want it to succeed. And that's what we're all working towards. David, what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Fandify? Well, uh, you can email us at info at Fandify.com, F-A-N-D-I-F-I.com. Uh, those come to me. I'm happy to speak with shareholders at any time. In terms of signing up for our beta, you can go again to Fandify.com. Uh, there's a sign up button right there and you get numerous contest entries. Uh, spread the news to your friends and uh, reach out to us at any time. I'm always happy to speak to shareholders. Very excited to see everything unfold here with Fandify. Thank you so much for joining us, the CEO, David Vinokarov. Now, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, 
We want you to put your attention to Fendify symbols, FDM in Canada, FDMSF in America. We believe this is a project that's a growth company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And thank you for joining us today, David. Thanks for your time, Rich. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Always a pleasure. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you CEO interviews, news, education on growth companies first. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is your host, Rich from Rich to be Live, saying have a nice day. We'll see you soon.